after you have installed successfully the window builder swing and SWT you can see this one here and we are now ready to create our first swing application so just click this one go to swing and select application window then in here you're going to um, type the the name of the application say for example it's stood info and click finish okay so notice that we have in here now the java file stood info that java and we have here the generated code and take note that our application has uh, two tabs in here the source tab shows to you the code of your application and the design tab this is uh, where you are going to create the gui window or frame with the components you want uh, to be displayed in this uh, window application now you can resize this window any way you want okay just click and drag this and uh, say for example that uh, we're going to choose first the layout so i personally like the absolute layout because it would give me a freedom where to place the components so click absolute layout and notice the green color so that means you can drop this one here apply the absolute layout okay so it's already applied and then maybe um, i'm going to add a panel component so a panel is simply a container of other components so click on that and maybe position it here top left going down click and drag okay maybe until here okay and then maybe another container the j panel click that and click and drag so now i have here two panels okay you could resize it Now, for each panel, you have to choose what layout you want. So, say for panel 1, I would choose also absolute layout. Click that. Again, absolute layout for the second panel. And I want this panel also to be titled borders so all you have to do is uh, go to border okay the properties for this component is listed here and uh, the palette here are all the components available for us to add on our um, application window so you go to border click this ellipsis and click this combo box and go to titled border and say the title of this panel is personal data click ok so notice that it appears here the title of the panel and also for the second panel um, I want this to be also titled border so i would go to border so you have to select that one the component and then you can see here all the properties of that component click this ellipsis and click this one choose titled border and maybe you type in exam result click ok okay so the the panel has now a title which is the one we typed earlier 
exam result. And for the personal data, I would like to add, uh, I would like to add here components that will allow me to input uh, the students' data fields such as ID, name, course, year, gender. So let me add here some components, the label, okay. And the label name is ID. Then another label. Let's say this is the name. Add another label. Let's say this is the course. This would be the year. Okay, you can actually um, position this, adjust the position, okay, to your liking. Okay, and then maybe another one which is say gender okay so now we have the labels and this time we're going to add the text field where um, we could input data you could adjust this one the way you want okay and then that's for the first one that's for ID, and this second one is for name. Another text field. This one for the course. And then maybe for year, instead of a text field, we would choose a combo box where it's going to list choices like one for first year, two for second year, three for third year, four for fourth year, and so on. Now for the gender, um, we could use radio button. This one, put it here. And then the label. For that, you go to this property text and type in female. Okay, so the label is now female and resize this one and add another radio button and give this the name or the label male. Okay, so remember it's in the text property and resize this. Okay, so we're done with the first panel. Now let's go to the second panel. In here, we're going to input the score that the student obtained, the total points of the exam, and maybe the remarks. So we'll add some labels. Let's say this is a score. Then another label. For the total points, okay, resize it so you can see the whole thing. Okay, let's add another label the grade and another label. Say this is the remarks. Okay, and then add some text field so we could input data for this.
Okay. So notice that um, this uh, white colored text field are the inputs. This is also input, but uh, we don't have to type anything here. When we click this combo box, it will just show us uh, choices such as one, two, three, four. And then this is also input, input, but this one is output. This is something to be computed and therefore it should not be editable. So we click this text field and we go to the property editable and make it false. Okay. Also the remarks would be an output. So it should not be editable. So uncheck this one. So it is not editable this time this two grade is to be computed based on the values of the score and the total points and then based on that grade value we will show here or output here uh, some remarks like excellent very good good fair or poor or fail maybe okay. and then maybe we could add some Another one, uh, maybe a requirement. What is the requirement? Okay, adjust to show everything. And then maybe this is a checkbox where you check it or uncheck it if the requirement is submitted or not so maybe the requirements is clearance okay so when the student has already submitted a clearance his clearance or her clearance clearance then you have to check this one okay to mean that the requirement is submitted okay and then after that we could add some buttons Okay, maybe position it here. Um, the name of this button maybe is uh, submit. Okay, then another button. And the name of this or the label of this is exit. Okay, there we have our application window with all those components and you could adjust this one to your liking maybe like this and take note that we could add in here a title of this application window so you just check this one select this window and um, go to title Type in student information. Okay, so notice that we have the title now here, student information. As to the icon of this window, you could check this one, okay, to add an image. And then choose absolute path, browse. Maybe we will choose this one, a JPEG image, open, click OK, and notice we have that new icon already. Okay, 